Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of IF5 molecule. It's a chemical formula for iodine pentafluoride and to understand its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its lowest structure. This is the lowest structure of IF5 molecule in which iodine atom is forming bonds with 5 fluorine atoms at a time and apart from that there is also a lone pair of electrons present on the central atom. When we are determining molecular geometry of any molecule we take into consideration all these points to come to an assumption which is uh, which is correct so if you look at its shape the shape here seems to be a uh, square pyramidal because of the arrangement of a uh, fluorine atoms because of the lone pair that is present on the iodine uh, atom it causes this shape according to VSCPR theory the molecule takes up a shape in such way that there are minimum repulsive forces between bonding pairs and non-bonding pairs of electrons and hence the iod the iodine planta fluoride takes this shape. So to find out the molecular geometry of this molecule we are going to use the steric number. So the steric number for this molecule is 6 uh, as there are 5 fluorine atoms forming bonds with iodine atom and there is one lone pair there are total 6 regions around the central atom hence the steric number is 6 and there is one lone pair in this molecule which corresponds to square pyramid molecular geometry. Hence, the molecular geometry for IF5 molecule is square pyramid and I hope this video helps you to understand that. You can also check uh, the AXN notation for this molecule to find out if we are uh, correct. You can also check out by finding the AXN notation for this molecule and I am pretty sure it will also correspond to square pyramid on that table. I hope this video helps you to understand all these processes very clearly. For more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.